On top of trying to find shelter and food, some Maui residents have run into another problem, looters. Some people on Lahaina say many have been robbed left and right for supplies like food and clothing, and they blame it on a lack of resources coming into Lahaina. KITV4 Shanila Kabir spoke to those affected by this crime, and she joins us live. Shanila? Paul, Diane, this is a desperate time for everyone affected. People are desperate to find loved ones and desperate for necessities. An Oregon resident called KITV4 today and said her family member was robbed at gunpoint when he flew in trying to donate supplies. And I spoke to a man whose business wasn't burned down but is now facing this problem. Coconut Caboose is one of the very few buildings that has survived the fires on Front Street in Lahaina. It's a restaurant and food truck business. Owner Jeremy Agano says he lost his home and barely made it out alive, but he is thankful at least his business remains standing. Agano says it's, quote, utter chaos for everyone right now, trying to find water, food, shelter. And to make matters worse, Agano says looters have attacked his business. Coconut Caboose now has an active GoFundMe. Barrett Procell says he lost everything to the fire. He and his wife are now homeless and wearing donated clothes. Procell wants people to know looters right now are not the enemies. They're in survival mode. He asks officials to focus on reopening the roads to bring in supplies. If your children are starving, the government's not showing up for you. The police won't let people with resources in. I think days I th and days. Days and days. I think that I think desperate times creates desperate measures. I definitely don't want to take up for the looters in any means. You know, it's, it's a terrible thing to take advantage of this type of a situation. But, you know, uh, people are desperate right now. Procell also said some restaurants are charging $20 cash for a plate of food. And right now, most people don't have cash or access to accounts. Procell says that's also contributing to the number of burglaries. If you were one of the lucky ones to have a little bit of money in your purse, and you were like most of the world who uses their card for all their purchases, and nothing. And no warning. Nothing. And no warning. And no warning. Well, we we, uh, we left, can do better, Mal. We, had a, we, we can had do a better. Jar, we had a jar of peanut butter and uh, two cans of cream of mushroom soup, and we ran. It's all we had. It's all we had for days. Sleeping in a parking lot for days in Lahaina. He plans to fly back to Maui tomorrow to be with his daughter who lives in Kahului. And access to West Maui is still limited. According to MPD, you must be a resident in the area with your ID. This is to ensure the proper handling and identification of those that are still missing in Lahaina while maintaining public safety. Shanila Kabir, KITV4 Island News.